Hi, this is Tyrone Sky here. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <clears throat> so, this is probably my last uh, video for the year. I want to thank everybody for uh, watching my uh, my videos. I know some of them are good and some of them are not. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching anyways. Um, so, I want to talk about... Um, this gift I got from uh, my friend Laura. I really appreciated her getting me this and she really thought it through and I think it was amazing. So I, I really wanted to show it and show it off really. Um, I hope she doesn't mind, but uh, we're still thoughtful of her. And you know, sometimes you have disputes or a little bit of, you know, argument and stuff, but we, we always, everybody always, we try to always work it out and it's pretty neat when you could talk things through. That's what's the most important thing. Always try to talk things through and, uh, have a clear mind in your head, you know, so, but Laura's been sweet, and, uh, she's a good friend, and, uh, her husband's a good guy, too, uh, Brian, I like him, too, he was a good guy, went to see, uh, Ray Orbison, I remember back in the day, um, uh, you know, the fake one, not the real one, <laughs> the guy who sang, like, Ray Orbison, he was pretty good, that was a great time I had with them, um, so, I want to show you the box that Laura gave me. Like it says, uh, pick me first with Santa Claus. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> and now I'm going to show you what's inside that she gave me. It's pretty, pretty cool, pretty, pretty neat. And uh, I never expected this. It, it, it blew me, uh, blew me away. It's one of my favorite actors of all time. <laughs> and everybody who knows me well knows what I'm talking about. Errol Flynn by North Pursuit. It was made in 1943, by, directed by Ralph Walsh. A really good movie, and it's about, it's about uh, the war, World War II, and the uh, Nazis go there in Canada with their spies, and uh, Errol Flynn uh, hoots them out. And it's, you know, it's all about snow elements and they have the dogs and the sleds and stuff like that. It's a pretty good movie. It has some act, good, pretty good action in it for them. But uh, it's a clean movie and that's what I enjoy. Old movies. And uh, if Errol Flynn was here today and in the movie theater, uh, movie theaters and the movies today, he mopped the floor of all these guys. And that's the guy's truth. But I know there's a lot of haters in my jobs who hate Errol Flynn. You know, I remember my friend Mick. He wouldn't even watch his movie, and it's pretty sad. Um, I loaned it to him. It was The Foster Woman, a really good movie. I watch his uh, trash uh, movie, and uh, he wouldn't watch mine. He said he was too busy. No, you're not busy, bro. You just didn't want to watch it because you have a problem with old movies. And the problem is you've been brainwashed, like most people in the colleges. I'm sorry, am I being cruel here? No, but it's a guy's truth, really. They tell you how to think and what you do. You gotta have your own mind. You gotta watch your own uh, and and do research and watch these movies because these movies are really good. These old movies. And I'm really pretty passionate about old movies. I gotta be honest with you, because they're clean. Not like Star Wars that just came out right now and they have this girl uh, <laughs> kissing scene with the girls. Um, I won't be watching that because it's against my soul. And I knew something was wrong because. Something was telling me inside not to go watch it. The last two. I haven't watched eight and I'm not watching nine at all. Um, it's their loss and I really don't care if they make a lot of money. But at least my soul uh, stands for something. And if you are a Catholic, you should not even watch that movie. I'm sorry. Because uh, it, it will taint your soul. But uh, you can do whatever you want. Life is still good, man. I'll just pray for everybody and it's, uh, that's the way I see it. Um, and so does God, by the way. And if you don't like it, then uh, don't love God. Love something else. But um, Errol Flynn is, to me, the greatest actor that ever lived. Um, if you so watch Robin Hood, Captain Blood, or The Seahawk, I just named a few that are, that are just, to me, perfect tense. Um, no one's ever going to be as good as Errol Flynn, I'm sorry. Errol Flynn could play comedy. He could play... Uh, he could play war movies. He'd do cowboys. Guy could do anything. Guy was very talented. Um, but uh, 
in the end, you know, people, uh, they get you on oh, poor Errol Flynn. But uh, Errol Flynn uh, is the greatest actor that ever lived. But, uh, so I want to thank Laura for giving me this gift. I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's right from the heart. It's not a lot of people who really think through this. But I can forgive almost anybody or anything. When you give me an Errol Flynn uh, t-shirt like that, it's gold, Laura. It's gold. I forgive you, Laura, for all the things you said in the past. <laughs> uh, all right. So there's another little gift that Laura gave me, and it's pretty neat. My dear friend. And she's the star today. And there'll be a lot of haters in New England because it's Mark Messier, the greatest hockey player that ever lived. And there's going to be a lot of people who are not going to like this, but it's the truth. And I'm going to tell you why when, um, why Mark Messier is the greatest uh, hockey player that ever lived. He won six Stanley Cups. Wayne Gretzky only won two, man. By the way, um, Mark Messier won it without Wayne Gretzky. He went with the Oilers when Wayne Gretzky left, and they traded him. Wayne, uh, you know, he went to the Santa Cup with the Kings once, and that was it, but he didn't win it. And then Mark Messier promised that he would win a Santa Cup with uh, the New York Rangers, and uh, he won in Game 7, and it's the greatest, greatest Game 7, greatest series of all time. You know, that series in 1994, the Santa Cup, uh, with the Rangers and the uh, with the Canucks, it's the greatest Vancouver, yeah, Vancouver, uh, Vancouver Canucks. It's the greatest uh, series ever lived. Uh, I don't care about the you know the '90s had the greatest hockey players to me. I loved hockey then, but when it got to 2000, they got this little strike and it just it turned me off. I I lost interest in hockey then. I just didn't care as much like I used to. And uh, I know there's a lot of people who are Brewer fans. I'm not a Brewer fan. I actually love the Hartford Whalers, and they left. They took them away, the owner. I never liked it, the color of the Bruins. I'm sorry. I know there's people who are going to hate me now because I don't like the Bruins either. But, you know, it's too bad. Well, like I said, Wayne Gretzky is the greatest uh, hockey player ever lived. And I hope you enjoyed this little video of me talking about my little gifts that I got from Laura. And enjoy. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, keep praying the rosary and uh, learn your uh, Catholic faith. And God bless you all. Have a good night and a good day.